Johannesburg former President Jacob Zuma will hand himself over to serve 15 months in jail for contempt of court, his foundation said on Wednesday, the first indication that Zuma is willing to serve his prison term. The Constitutional Court sentenced Zuma on June 29 to 15 months in jail for failing to appear at the Zondo Commission of Inquiry and gave him five days to appear before police. Below are some of the main scandals involving Zuma, South Africa's most divisive president since the end of apartheid in 1994. He was in power from 2009 to 2018. The Public Protector published a report in 2016 entitled State of Capture alleging that Zuma's businessman friends, the Gupta brothers, had tried to influence the appointment of cabinet ministers and were unlawfully awarded state tenders. An inquiry was set up in 2018 to examine corruption allegations during Zuma's period in power. Zuma denies wrongdoing and has so far not cooperated. The Guptas, who also deny wrongdoing, left South Africa after Zuma's ouster. Zuma is being tried on charges including corruption and fraud relating to AR-30 billion, now $2 billion, arms deal from the 1990s, when he was deputy president. The charges were set aside in 2009, paving the way for Zuma to run for president, but were reinstated in 2018. He denies wrongdoing. Zuma fired finance minister Nlanla Nene in December 2015 and replaced him with little-known parliamentary backbencher Des Van Ruyen. Zuma was forced to sack Van Ruyen and reappoint a previous finance minister, Praveen Gordhan, four days later after the RAND collapsed. President Cyril Ramaphosa reappointed Nene in February 2018. Later that year, Nene told a judicial corruption inquiry he had been fired by Zuma for refusing to approve a $100 billion nuclear power deal with Russia in 2015. Zuma fired Gordhan as finance minister and Sebasai Jonas as deputy finance minister in a midnight reshuffle in March 2017. South African financial markets plummeted, with senior officials in the governing African National Congress, ANC, expressing anger at the lack of consultation.